your school. It's a place where you can learn heaps, have lots of fun, see your friends, and also save thousands of litres of water. Water? Yep, that's right. You and your class can make a difference on how your school uses this very precious resource, water. So, how can you help your school save water? Well, one process is called a water audit. It's a very simple activity, working with your classmates and teachers to check how much water your school uses. Once you know how much water your school uses, you can put a water action plan in place to make sure you're only using the water you need. You'll be helping to save thousands of litres of water every year, which will really help our environment. So, how does the water audit work? Well, first of all, you need to find out how much water is being used at school. This is done by checking the water meter and recording the amount of water used over a whole week. You'll be surprised at how much water your school uses, especially all the different places where water is used. There are all the toilets for the students and teachers, the bubblers, the canteen, the garden, the oval, if you have one, and maybe the showers in the gym, if you have one of those too. First off, you'll need a few things to help you do your water audit on the day. These include gloves to keep you clean, pen and paper to write down the information, a bucket or a one litre jug, a stopwatch and a tape measure. You'll also need to nominate someone to write down all the info from the audit That's me. and someone to report your findings back to the class. Once you've got all the gear together, you'll break into small supervised groups so each group can go to a different location in the school. All set? Then let's go and save water! At each location, you'll be identifying and counting the taps, toilets and bubblers, making measurements, recording your observations and finding any problems. Uh-oh, leaking tap. This will include measuring water volume of a toilet system using the tape measure and measuring the average flow rate of a tap using the stopwatch and measuring jug. Stop. 15 seconds, Adam. Don't get wet and remember to throw the water onto the garden when you're finished. You'll also discover things like how much water the urinals use in the boys' toilets. Bet you don't know the answer to that question. And yes, the boys will be doing this part of the audit. Ten toilets and three systems. And it doesn't matter if you're a primary school or a high school, because all schools use water. And everyone needs to save water. Also in the water audit, you'll need to investigate your school grounds. These can have a big impact on water use. This includes the type of trees and plants your school has growing. Are they thirsty trees or do they only need a drink once in a while? It's a grevillea and it's native, so it uses less water. How are the gardens watered? Does the water come from the tap or has your school installed a rainwater tank? Rainwater tank at 145. These differences in water use can make a big difference to how much water your school uses. Once you've got all this info written down, you'll be able to bring it all together back in the classroom and complete the audit forms. Okay, so now we're aware of how much water our school really uses. What have we learnt? We found two leaking taps near the canteen. The rainwater tanks are half full. We counted ten urinals and three systems and they're all working fine. And this is where the exercise gets really interesting. Because now that you know where and how much water is being used, you can answer an even more important question. Where is the school wasting water? And how can we save water? What are we currently doing to save water here at Bosley Park High? Putting in more rain tanks. More rain tanks. We have watering cans instead of just using the hose on the farm in our veggie patches and stuff. Students, teachers and parents can get together to write the water action plan and come up with great ideas for saving water. It may be as simple as checking that all the taps and bubblers have been turned off after recess. It may even be as easy as installing a rainwater tank to provide water for the toilets and garden. All the answers to these very important questions can only come about 
because you and your classmates gathered the information in the first place. John, what are you up to? I'm, I'm mulching to keep the um, ground damp. Thank you. Your actions can help your school save thousands of litres of water, now and in the future. And when you add up all those days, weeks and months that schools use water, you'll be making one of the biggest savings for your school ever. And don't forget to ask the principal how much water your school is saving when the Sydney Water Account arrives. Because if you're saving water, you're saving the environment and saving money. So what could we do with this money if we could save it? Buy a lot of sport equipment? Well, that's great, wouldn't it be? So be a water-wise school, because there's lots you can do to save water. Like turn off the taps and report dripping taps. Install vandal-proof taps in the playground and gardens. Mulch the gardens to decrease evaporation. Plant trees and shrubs that use less water. And install a rainwater tank for the gardens or toilets. So get a water audit happening at your school and make a difference now because 